Hamilton against Svensson, breaks for Simmons, Simmons tries the snapshot, it was well worth the effort. Alan McGregor back well, well done firmly, have only scored twice in the first half all season, so it's worth a dig. Yeah, it's a good effort, good effort, Jim Hamilton's going to win headers all day, he's fully 35 yards out there, I think Alan McGregor thought it was going past, but he covered it well. Trailing leg, Rangers with a free kick, Ferguson in, the header down. Well, that was good play, Svensson coming up from the back. For me, it should be a goal. Great cross for Barry Ferguson. Gets in front of his man. Anywhere in the corner, it's a goal. Well, he's yet to open his accounts, Carl Svensson. And a comfortable save in the end. Picked up by Ray. Ferguson tries to get it through to Nacho Noble. Noble moving forward again at pace. Sends it out wide. And a good drive this across and knocked down. There did it come off the hand. The referee said no. Rangers certainly felt they had a case. Well, it's great play by Nacionovo. Great little ball in the box. Did it come off the arm when it was going in the net? I'm not so sure. It might have been his shoulder, his back. But it certainly stopped to going in the net, that's for sure. Well, Alan Hutton had broken wide very well indeed. I think that just comes against the back. Well, Fairly could do with a goal. Ball swung in, looking for Hamilton. Knocked away by Rodriguez. Owen oh, Morrison. Taking on Rodriguez, it's a decent ball across, it's Jim Hamilton waiting! And that's a terrific strike from Jim Hamilton, only his second goal for the Pars, it ends the goal drought, hadn't scored in the first half of the last six matches, but Jim Hamilton finds his side ahead. Well you've got to question the defending Paul, the defending's absolutely awful, I mean, Jim Hamilton's a main striker, he's peeled off to the back post, good cross in Maroon Morrison, we can maybe take a touch in the six yard box. That's a decent finish as well. Well, Chris Boyd was the man who failed to get the header away. He controlled it well, Jim Hamilton, and lashed it low into the bottom corner. Four blue jerseys within five yards of him, not one of them picking him up. Plenty of bodies up. Delivery decent again, headed goalwards and knocked away. The Rangers goal under severe threat. Ross with the throw. Tipped on high by O'Brien. Hamilton looking for it. He got the touch in too. Rodriguez away. Returned by Ross. So Morrison had moved away. Gets the ball back across. Simmons almost comes back to him. It does. Dan Fairman go two up on Rangers. And the goal comes from Stephen Simmons. And no one, but no one expected this round East End Park today. No, I certainly didn't. We didn't either, but I tell you. Another head of a Jim Hamilton in the box there. Rangers defensively right at this minute are a shambles. Well, Morrison pulled it down. It was blocked off the heel of Svensson first time. Represented goal to Stephen Simmons. Yeah, I think Simmons got a little bit forced him. He's a midfield player in the box around the right time. Came back to him. Sticks in the net. A third goal of the season for Stephen Simmons. He got the consolation against Celtic. What will this one mean against Rangers? Ball swung in, the little header came in, it came from Gavin Ray and it was sent wide. I'm firmly worried that the fact the Rangers captain got the header. Good delivery. Gavin Ray gets in well, maybe should have done a bit better. Well, Rangers haven't had too many chances so far this afternoon. What can they do here this afternoon? The corner from Scott Morrison played in. The header is three! And it's three now! Down this season, Rangers can see three goals in a match, and it's Phil Maguire who celebrates his first goal for the Pars. It's a dream start to the second half for Dunfermline. It's a nightmare for Rangers. Well, you take nothing away from the quality of delivery from Morrison. A great ball in the ball for Phil Maguire. No did he well. There's something half a yard away from him. There's no challenge on him. Just gets above his mind. Awful start to the second half for Rangers. I think it's Alan Hunt they got above there. He's just out muscled him. He's stuck in the net. Oh, Brian. Back to Greg Ross. Swept into the box. Jim Hamilton could break though for Crawford. Crawford took the touch. Swiped away Jim Hamilton to make it four. I mean, Jim Hamilton with the initial chance. Stevie Crawford, but Svensson again with that famous swipe. Nacho Novo, nice flick back into back to Gavin Ray. Ray pulls it across. Chris Boyd! Rangers floor for the first time this afternoon and it results in their first goal. Beautiful move by Rangers, that's 
that's what it means to Barry Ferguson. It was great football. Love a little touch here by Novo. Love a little cutback as well. I said in the first half, Chris Boyd must have been up. I've got to tell you, when the ball goes in the box, he does get the end of things. Good on McGavin Ray, good cutback. It's not an easy finish, but a terrific one. So Rangers get themselves on the score sheet. Rangers have to watch as again Dan Ferman come forward. Hamilton flicks it out wide to Crawford. Crawford taking out Svensson. Man on the overlap. That's allowed space for Crawford to go. A good save from Alan McGregor. Young is with him. That's the ball out. On to Nacho Novo. Novo back to Hutton. Shout of man on as Morrison tracks back. Hutton gets the cross in. Boyd's moved away nicely, but he was pushing. Ronnie McKenzie had heard the whistle, he didn't even bother trying to save it, but Ian Bryan's clearly blowing for the push. I think it was a push, I think it gets away from him quite well, well I don't know if there's a lot in that, to be honest. You see it here, it's a slightly arms out and he'll give it, but... Back to Buffo once more, brings in Nacho Novo, back to goal, he's always dangerous like that. Young's clearance only hits Ian Murray and Rangers should score! Mistake from Darren Young, the cross came in and Chris Boyd nets Rangers second. With a quarter of the match to go, Rangers have cut the deficit to one. Just got a wee bit spaced down now, it's a poor clearance again, just trying to batter it away. Chris Boyd peels off his man at the back post. I tell you, it's a great cross for Ian Murray on his right foot. Picks him out of the back stick here, couldn't really miss, could he? Well, Chris Boyd, four goals in his last five starts, helps himself to two in the Scottish Cup, and the joy. So is Hutton. Ball played in, headed away by Greg Ross, back to Burke once more. It's a decent cross in, Barry Ferguson rattles it off the crossbar. Well, Rory McKenzie is furious, but the former Rangers captain was presented with the opportunity. It was a perfectly timed run, great ball, he's got to score, and Barry will know that. Anywhere on target because all the pace is on the ball. That's a goal. Imagine the reception they got if they put that in. Well, Ian Durant feeling the pain there. Barry Ferguson too. Great run from Ferguson, but he knows that should have been in the net from the Ferman surrendering possession too easily. And now Rangers driving forward again. Here's Burke slated into Chris Boyd. Is it the hat trick? Well, he got three on his Scottish Cup debut for Rangers against Peter Head, and he was just an inch away from another Scottish Cup trio. A really well-timed run, a great pass of Chris Buck. That is inches wide. Great run. Well, there A foot. And Rangers are going to get a chance every two minutes, rest assured. They won't only draw this match, they'll win it. Buck. Moving forward, slipped it into Ferguson. Ferguson onside, the ball moved back to Buffo. And Roddy McKenzie is going to be a busy man. The well, Rangers could quite conceivably be winning this game 5 or 6 3. That's a great little pass because Ferguson is onside, definitely. Maybe he could have cut that back. Ball played forward, referee looks at his watch. Referee and Bryant blows the whistle and Rangers domestic season comes tumbling down around them. A sporting handshake from Ian Durant for Stephen Kenny. Jim Hamilton can smile, he started the scoring this afternoon. Stephen Simmons made it 2-0 just before the break, it was 2-0. And then Maguire scored just after the interval. Two goals from Chris Boyd were not enough to bring Rangers back into this tie. And Stephen Kenny can celebrate victory as Dunfermline boss. He won the Cup in Ireland. He's got through the third round of the Scottish Cup here in Scotland. It's a famous victory for Dunfermline. It finishes at East End Park. Dunfermline Athletic 3, Rangers 2.